at C3 AI, uh, we spent the last 15 years and now two or three billion dollars building a software platform that allows us to do design, develop, provision, operate massive scale uh, enterprise AI applications. And then we've built a hundred enterprise AI applications to address the value chains of oil and gas, utilities, financial services, pharmaceutical, uh, defense, intelligence, aerospace. With a hundred production enterprise AI applications, I believe we are the largest provider of these solutions in the world. And all the external evidence that we can see suggests we have the highest levels of customer satisfaction in the world. So to the extent that you want to employ AI in your enterprise for stochastic optimization of supply chain, inventory optimization, demand forecasting, fraud, uh, oil and optimization of oil and gas operations, smart grid operations, or aerospace, I think we're well positioned to deliver, you know, very high value uh, economic benefit applications quickly. We have the corporate culture at C3AI is is unique. I mean, we consist today of about 1,200 professionals operating, and I'm not sure how many countries around the world, but you know, quite a few. We have offices in, you know, Brazil, Mexico, across the United States, Paris, Rome, London, Munich, uh, Singapore, and uh, it, it's very unusual. These are, you know, highly trained professionals who went to the best universities. Uh, we, I think that almost 70% of our employees have master's degrees. 10% uh, of our employees have PhDs. So these are highly trained professionals at the top of their game. And, you know, this is very old school. We're not, uh, you know, we're not really wrestling with work-life balance. For us, work and life is the same thing. So the, the, the type of professional who comes to work at C3 and works at C3 today, you know, enjoys working as a, in a team, uh, is highly collaborative, loves working with customers, loves working on very difficult problems, and loves you know, accomplishing things that never have been accomplished before. So we're 100% we're work from the office culture. We're dedicated from first thing Monday morning till late Friday evening, sometimes all weekend, to do whatever it takes to build the products, to provide the solutions, and to deploy the applications that deliver substantial economic benefit for, to our customers. That is what we are committed to, that is what we enjoy, and this is how we work. C3 AI is very much the first native enterprise AI software company, and we began work in building this platform in January 2009. AWS was this big, the GPU didn't exist, Azure didn't exist, Google Cloud didn't exist. The Internet of Things was something that people talked about in the future. And, you know, we believed that Elastic Cloud Computing, Big Data, the Internet of Things, and Predictive Analytics would change everything about computing. So we began work in, in January of 2009 and spent uh, two approaching three billion dollars building up this platform, this set of applications to allow organizations to apply enterprise AI to the economic benefit of their company, to the economic benefit of their customers, to the economic benefit of their shareholders, and uh, and the social benefit. I would ask, particularly, I would I would I would add, particularly when it gets into the ESG, uh, energy savings, what have you. So. When you think about it at the enterprise level, I wouldn't worry so much about the algorithms. I wouldn't worry so much about supervised learning versus super unsupervised learning, you know, TD learning, reinforcement learning, generative AI, neural networks, whatever it might be. Leave that to the professionals, okay? Focus on taking your enterprise 
uh, applications, what be they manufacturing, be they supply chain, be they inventory, be they ERP or be they CRM, whatever it may be, and making those applications predictive. So rather than report on, you know, what your breakdowns in the supply chain were, let's identify those breakdowns in the supply chain before they happen, mitigate it and deliver products on time and flow to our customers rather than worry about reporting, you know, what what our customer churn was. Why don't we predict which customers will leave us in the next 180 days and take action to save them rather than predict what our, you know, levels of fraudulent activity were, be it anti-money laundering and banking or fraud in the energy grid, whatever it might be. Why don't we work at, you know, identifying uh, those fraudulent events before they happen so we can prevent them. So let's focus on the economic benefit, you know, of making our enterprise applications, ERP, CRM, manufacturing, supply chain, predictive. Okay, and then we can we can we can change the future to the economic benefit of the constituents that we serve. The information technology business is very simply a human capital game. Hard stop, it's a human capital game. It is your team against their team. Okay, and to the extent that we succeeded at Oracle, to the extent that we succeeded at Siebel Systems, and to the extent that we are succeeding at C3AI, it's because candidly, we have a stronger team. They are better educated. They are you know, intellectual athletes. They are dedicated. They're committed. They work tirelessly. They work as a team. They do whatever it takes to make the the, the uh, customer satisfied. For those of you, I'm talking to you from our, our worldwide headquarters in Silicon Valley. And if you could, if you walk out the front door with me, you will see the only full parking lot in Silicon Valley. And that parking lot is full from you know, eight o'clock Monday morning until seven o'clock Friday night, okay, with people working tirelessly to benefit our customers. And that parking lot is full in Washington, D.C., Atlanta, Chicago, Mexico City, Paris, Rome, London, Munich, you name it. And so we are here, we are, we are, it's a very unusual, high performance, high output, high energy, uh, professional culture, dedicated excellence and dedicated to assure that our customers receive substantial and rapid economic benefit from the projects uh, with which they engage with us. Mm-hmm.